So Tyler has some important information that he would like to say. Okay, so in chess club, last week plus this week, there has been about four rounds. I have won literally every single one of them. I mean, like, I've done on, like, every single one of them. I did the castle move. I still haven't done the pawn move, but I'm... Because it's called I capture while passing. Capture There's a while. French term for it, but... Capture while passing, but I don't know. I forgot Maria. how to do it. So, I haven't been doing it, but so far I've won every single one of the battles awesome. that I've gone against. Very cool. Well, I am about ready to finish loading up the dishes from breakfast. My homie made pancakes this morning. But guys, I know this isn't gonna show you anything, <laughs> but there's my dishwasher. It's not really gonna show you anything. But I wanted to tell you that the mixture where I put in two cups of vinegar, ran it on a sanitize, and then I put in baking soda and I ran it a second time, actually worked. There's no strange smell coming from my dishwasher anymore. So if you guys need a fix for yours, it works. Trust me, it's great. All week last week, it was sunny. We had grass showing the marmots were out. And this morning I wake up and look what we've got, folks. We have a little dusting of snow. I see that the um, it's actually already melting off my tree and everything, so I don't expect it to stick around. But nonetheless, folks, we got snow once again. Ha! Look at that. Only a couple of hours have passed, folks, and almost all of the snow is gone. Look at my street. It looks completely, completely different. Check this out, too. I noticed when I was walking out here, let me see if I can scroll in so you guys can see, next to this little bucket, um, we have flowers already poking their little heads up, trying to grow. So look, there's a whole row right there. So obviously, we are going to have to clean it up out here. But yeah, there we go. I just wanted to show you what just a couple hours can do. So I wanted to show you guys something. I went and painted my nails and it's a gorgeous color. Check out this color. Well, it doesn't show up very well in this lighting, but it is that beautiful dusty rose color. But as you can see at the very tip of it, it is starting to chip as sad. It's because I ran out of top coat and I had no idea that I ran out. So I had to go and pick up some new top coat. So this is what I got. I got this OPI top coat and I hope it's as good as the uh, julep stuff that I normally get, but we'll find out. So I just painted them. Look at that shine, folks. It is super shiny. I'm just hoping it has good wear and tear because gosh, they look good. Tackling this corner, I'm getting everything organized right here. Over there, my homie is moving that little entertainment center out of there because we are going to take this one, my school cupboard here, and it's gonna take its place in there and we are going to move a couch right there. So that's our big project that we're working on right now. So hopefully it'll go well. Progress is being made, my friends. I've got Excuse that done. Me. We're working on getting the top all cleared off. Otherwise, everything in there is undone. Yay. We're getting there. We're almost done. More progress has been made. It is no longer here, folks. We, there's the honey bear. He's been working hard and helping out. Look at this. It is now in my living room. And we got the PlayStation 4 and all the goodies that go with it. And we're going to be putting all our DVDs in there because we want to get rid of that tower in the corner. So we'll have no tower in the corner. And this right here with all of my laundry on it, that's the couch that's moving into the computer room. But here is our progress so far and I'm so excited about that. So while we are cleaning out everything, I found a huge tub right here of colored pencils and most of them are duller than dull. So I am taking the time to use my electronic uh, sharpener and make them all look pretty just like this. So that's a project plus. Look at these. I know that's outdated because they're from Halloween time, but we actually found two packages of unopened candy corn. So now we have a snack as well. <laughs> After dumping this a million times and a thousand hours have passed, I have all of our colored pencils sharpened and nice. We got Chantel right there doing all our videos and she's doing them alphabetically. Booyah! It's gonna look so good. Just getting them all out of there so we can get rid of that tower and have them all right in there. 
Like I said, she's organizing that all, so that's gonna be really nice when it's done. And it is ready for the couch. Tried something new. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. Hopefully good. This is kielbasa sausage. I made a homemade sweet and sour sauce. So we have chunks like this. Chunks, you oh, you can't even see it. Well, in here I have, there we go, chunks of pineapple. Ooh, my screen is getting all foggy. So there's pineapple chunks in here and there's kielbasa sausage and a sweet and sour sauce for dinner. And then, one more thing. By the way, this was in the crock pot, so my house smells amazing. I'm over here making um, peppers and onions. I'm just sauteing them, and I put a little bit of Italian seasoning and some salt and pepper on them. And so that is going to be our dinner for tonight. Yesterday, we were super, super, super productive at the house. We got rid of all the homeschooling stuff, moved our little cabinet that was there and stuffed it full of our videos and got that all beautiful thanks to Chantel she organized it they're all alphabetized it looks fantastic and then we moved the couch into the computer room right behind my computer so we have a nice little space we plan to hang up some shelving and that kind of stuff so it's gonna be really really nice in there I hope but anyways I wanted to do a check-in with my fingernails because I was kind of balking at the $10 price tag of the OPI um, nail cover the um, top coat that I bought because I ran out of mine. Honestly guys, it's fantastic. I'm going to show you my nails. So here's the thing guys, they're not chipping. Look at this. It might be hard because the, the um, uh, what do you call it, the, the sunlight or whatever is glinting off of them. They are not chipping at all. Let me see. Maybe I can show you there. I don't know if you can tell. Guys, it's flawless. I did tons of dishes, I did sorting of things, I moved furniture, I did all kinds of things yesterday and they are flawless. So hats off to OPI and their top coat because it works fantastically. Right now I am waiting in the car because we're running some errands and we actually plan to go to the library for a short bit so I have some books to return and hopefully I can snag some other ones. There's like a, a, a give one take one section there at the library so I like to trade in my books and grab new ones. So uh, hopefully I can find something good. I am taking in like three or four books so we'll see what I can find. Well the tiny human is a bit bummed in the back seat. She's kind of sad because we just got a phone call from Ty. He's not feeling good. He went to bed last night not feeling great, so we gave him some cough and cold medicine. And he woke up this morning and had a headache, I guess, but he decided to still go to school. Well, we just got a phone call saying that he needs to be picked up because he's just not feeling good at school. So unfortunately, we cannot go to the library today. So the tiny human, like I said, is a little on the disappointed side. But we're picking up Ty. Um, he's going to be homesick today, I guess. Tyler plays for chess club. Are you trying to be like Ty? Yes. What are you playing? Are you playing chess? I'm playing this. Ooh. Are you winning? I'm almost. You're almost winning? Yeah. Well, good luck. Have fun, okay? And a quick update, Ty is fe feeling heaps and bounds better after his headache and everything. He had a nice hot bath. He's just watching some television right now, but he's feeling a lot better, huh? Yeah. yeah. So he's just taking it easy, but I think, I think we're in the clear now. Unfortunately, we went out for our kind of little 
date lunch. I forgot my camera, so I have just a little bit of footage, but I didn't really want to speak in that footage because there were a lot of people there at the park sitting nearby. It was a little bit on the awkward side, but um, as you can see by the footage that I'm going to put here. Oh, oh I wanted to open, open yours. Good. Can you help me open mine? We had our lovely lunch. We both got a soup and salad from a place called Croutons around here. And um, my husband got a chicken and wild rice soup. And he got a spinach salad with Gouda cheese and walnuts, a vinaigrette dressing, and there was, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, strawberries, that's right. And I got the exact same salad as he did but um, I also got a tomato basil soup and it was amazing. It was so good. So we had a lot of fun at our lunch date together, just hanging out in the park. It was a little on the chilly side out there, but it was still really fun. And we also did some Pokemon hunting. The, for the first time ever, both of us put down lures in the park. And so the Pokemon just came to us. And so we caught a bunch of Pokemon while we ate and we just had a, a wonderful time. It was just fun. So that's how our afternoon dinner or our afternoon lunch date went. Guess what's back? Back again. Guess what's back? Guess what's back? Guess what's back? Guess what's back? Yes. We have a little bit of snow this morning. First thing in the morning, snow! It'll be gone by the afternoon probably, but check it out. Look at that, we got some snow. Working on a project he has to do for Neil Armstrong. And so we, my color too. yeah, she's got her colors. Aria is coloring over there. But we took some time to go on the internet and find a bunch of facts, and he wrote some sentences and stuff. And this is what we are working on right now. 
He's busy gluing on the stars, but we're gonna have an American flag here. And on each of these, we're gonna have our facts about Neil Armstrong. So he is getting his poster all ready to go. And then we'll be able to write the facts on it and I'll show you guys when it's all done. I really feel like my week has just literally flown by taking care of a sick kid on my um, cleaning regimen right now and you know potty training a, a toddler making dinners uh, ferrying kids to school it's literally feels like it's gone so crazy fast and it's also been kind of nice actually because the past few days Chantel has not had play practice and she has not had any performances so finally I, the last few days I have been able to kind of catch up with her and see what she was up to and just kind of I don't know reconnect with my teen so that was kind of nice um, tonight actually she does have a performance so we're going to go back to that and I think this is the last weekend of that however the fun is not over after this weekend because her play practice may be over, but if I'm not mistaken, on Monday she starts track practice because track season is coming up. So she's going to be doing track this year, which is amazing because I love watching her run and do all this amazing stuff that she can do. I'm totally looking forward to the footage on that one. But it's just been crazy busy at the Ruminap house. I just feel like my week has literally just flown crazily fast. Um, it's been a wonderful week. It just seems like it's gone awful fast. The tiny human is currently sleeping back there. I am actually in a really long pickup line for Chantel's school. So I just thought that I would give you a quick update at the end of my week. I cannot believe that it is Thursday already. Like I said, I feel like my week is just flown by so fast. But anyways, um, the cars are probably going to start moving here in a few minutes because her school will be out in exactly two minutes from now. So I'm going to log off here and unless there's anything else, this is the end of the vlog folks. Um, I don't know if anything else uh, exciting is going to happen. I am making spaghetti. That is exciting. So I may put in some footage of making spaghetti tonight actually. But anyways, that's it for my updates. It is Thursday today. I got too wrapped up trying to get dinner on the table in a really quick fashion. I forgot to film any of my making of said spaghetti, but here's the sauce all, here's the sauce all done. Ooh, yum yum sauce right there. Mm -hmm. And we got the noodles all up in there and I made toast. I broiled it. Yum yum. Here's what it looks like all on the plate. It looks fantastic. Look, my family's hoovering dinner. Shan's got to get going soon. I'm still making mine. He's still making his. Tyler's still not feeling good, so he's getting meds, and Dad's helping out. So there's dinner for us, folks.